Good morning everyone. Before we start the obligatory good morning coffee shots. Ah. Good morning everyone. Just let me get a quick sip. Mm. The year 2017 comes to an end and first and foremost I want to thank all of you for all the great support and all the kind words you always had in the comment section. And I would never have believed to get so many subscribers right now. We're at 31,000 subscribers, something around that number. And I would have never believed to get so far. And yeah, let's see how far or how high the number of subscribers and views actually gets in the next year. And um, to close off this year, I wanted to show you this mess, all the boxes in that corner that currently store all the bags that I will review in 2018. And in this short vlog style is Modo Moments video, I'm gonna show you all of the bags that I will review or do a quick look on in 2018. All right, for those of you who don't know, Ismono Moments is a vlog kind of type of video. I personally think that my day-to-day -day life is not interesting enough to document each single day. So I created Ismono Moments as a way to only speak about topics that I find interesting and then wrap them around a vlog type kind of video. And to underline that my day-to-day -day life is pretty mundane, I will give you a non-epic time-lapse of me cleaning this very big bathroom mirror. All right, that's a lot of bags. Hold on, I need a knife as well. All right, my knife. Okay, as you can see, a lot is coming up for 2018. Okay, let's start with the first bag that I actually already reviewed and the video will be online next week. And that is uh, this bag. The Datum Tracknos. I'm not gonna say a lot about it because the review is going to be online next week. All right, that was the first bag. Another bag that I also already tested a little bit is the Krieger R20 motorcycle riding backpack. Great bag, but I wasn't able to do a review because riding season in Hamburg unfortunately is over. It's not snowing yet, but streets are kind of slippery, so, and I'm a beginner, so I don't want to ride around with a motorbike on a slippery street. But it's a great backpack, and I fitted it out with this uh, Life Behind Bars Houdini pouch for a cell phone. Pretty cool. So, what else? And this one is probably a bag that lots of people will be excited about. That's the Black Amber Citadel. I got both versions. This is, I'm not sure how it's called, but this is the one that's more cleaner in the front. Uh, the other one has all these attachment points. Black amber, great stuff. And this bag actually looks pretty cool. This is just going to be a preview of all the bags that are coming in 2018, so I'm not gonna show you too much of it. This one is the Code of Bell X-Pack. I also got the X-Pack Pro, which is basically just the bigger one. And this is a sling bag, an everyday carry sling bag that is actually pretty cool. Not too big, not too small, perfect for everyday carry. Okay, let's go over here. This is the Koren Design Anti-Theft Backpack. Many people have asked me about reviewing the bobby pack or other of those uh, anti-theft backpacks. And I feel like most of them, since they have basically the same shape, look kind of similar. I know that might be a little bit unfair to the folks at Corin or at Bobby, but uh, to me at least, they look a little bit the same, have almost the same features. 
I'm not too fond of the look of the shape of these anti-theft backpacks, but the features are pretty cool. And yeah, just need to start reviewing this bag, hopefully pretty soon. This is the Bellroy backpack, or no, what's it called? I think the Toad? Uh, Bellroy, as many of you might know, actually do all those wallets, some notebooks, etc. And they finally started making some backpacks. So I'm excited to see how this one actually works out. It's, it's kind of business-like, so this would be probably the best bag if I would wear a suit. So I might not be the right target group for this bag. Nevertheless, it's, it's a cool looking tote backpack kind of bag. And as I said, that's probably pretty cool for all those of you who want to see a business bag. Speaking of business or more high fashion type of stuff, Karl Friedrich. This is a uh, very, very classy. You might, before they renamed themselves, they were called Opermann. And I reviewed their duffel, which was really cool. And to be quite honest, was a little bit too high fashion for me because I'm always like the jeans, urban type kind of guy. But I think this one suits my styling a little bit better. It's still high fashion, I would say, but due to this canvas, it's a little bit more suitable if you can say that, pun intended, <laughs> for my kind of style. Yeah, very high quality materials and build. Continuing with stuff inside pouches, are these really crazy, good looking. This is a, a dop kit, but this is a tech dop kit by Le Whisper Lifestyle. These are really high quality and almost too good looking dop kits that are made out of leather either for all your tech gadgets or for your shower gels and stuff like that. And as I said, this, I mean, this looks really, really almost too good for me <laughs> to be quite honest, but I'm looking forward to test it out. All right, next thing, travel lab. That is actually really, really cool because this is not a bag inside the bag, but this, the whole bag folds inside this. And if you actually are able, I haven't been able to do this. If you're actually able to do the one bag travel philosophy with just one carry-on bag, then you might know that the carry-on bag is a little bit too big for everyday carry walking around the city that you have been traveling to. So you could just put this travel lab inside your carry-on bag, unfold this, and then you have a travel backpack for strolling around the, the city that you have been traveling to. Very small and lightweight, I would say around 800 grams or something. Next up, this is actually something many people have asked me about as well. This is the Psycop day pack. Actually, the bag is not really my taste of of the design, but to be quite honest, this is basically the perfect bag for me because this caters to my desire to pack modular, to be quite honest. It comes with all these so-called whisper packs. Whisper because this is supposed to be a silent Velcro system. I'm really looking forward to test these out because there's so many, as you can see, there's so many different pouches that all kind of arrange inside the bag. So next up, this is the good bag. It's a top loading roll top backpack. I really like the look of this bag. It's kind of a mixture of the rehose, the invisible backpack, and maybe something from Chrome, if that's a fair assessment. It's a cool looking bag. I don't know what, if there's a lot to say about it right now, but yeah, I like the look, I dig the look. Ah, this bag, I already opened it. So this is the Kosan backpack system. It's a combination out of a carry-on backpack with a day pack inside, as far as I know. And as you can see, it's, it folds up pretty nicely to a small form factor. It has lots of great materials like these metal Cobra buckles, this really good feeling handle, storm guard zippers. Yeah, it looks pretty good. As this is also a pre-production unit, this is probably just going to be a quick look. But there has been a lot of buzz around these bags, so I'm looking forward to test them out as well. Another package, as you 
can see, I haven't opened this, but I know this package is from a guy he here in Germany and he actually designed this bag all by himself. It's going to be a Kickstarter. Let's see how it looks. It's going to be called Ferrer Design. Oh, it looks pretty cool. The Day Ferrer by Ferrer Design. He told me he, want, uh, he was always looking for a cool everyday carry backpack that fitted his own packing style and his own needs. And he wasn't able to find what he was actually looking for. So he just went ahead and made one or designed one himself, which is actually pretty cool. If you can't find it, just make it yourself. That's pretty cool. Looking forward to test it out. Last but not least, a pelican. Pelican for you who don't know are basically known for these types of pelican cases which are designed for camera equipment because it's just like a hard case where you can store all your expensive gear but this is not going to be a pelican case because as I have said in my Q&A live stream I don't really like or I like pelican cases, but they usually draw too much attention to themselves and therefore attract the attention of someone who might want to steal all of your gear. So this one is not a case, but it is a backpack. And it's called, well, that's a technical name, MPB35. I have just opened the package and this is my very first impression. The material is pretty cool. It kind of feels almost like something you could wear actually. It's different than I was expecting to be quite honest, but in a good way. When I'm thinking about Pelican, I'm thinking about Pelican cases and therefore like square shapes. But this one is kind of rounded, oval shape. Looks pretty good. Yeah, looking forward to test them out because I only know Pelican for their cases and not for the backpacks. Oh, this feels kind of stiff. Not sure how comfortable that's going to be, but let's see, that's the Pelican. That was about it. You should see that mess. This is a mess. <laughs> but as you can see, there are a lot of bags coming up in 2018. Yeah, I'm really looking forward to 2018. I still can't believe all of the support that you all have given me in 2017. I'm very honored to have you all on board. Thank you very much. As you can see, I don't know, really know what to say. I will upload this, I think, one day before New Year's Eve. So I wish you a happy new year. And again, thank you very much for all of the, your support. And yeah, like always, if you have any questions about these bags, uh, comment below. I will try to answer them as good as I can. And if you enjoyed this video, click the like button. And please feel free to subscribe to my channel and click that little bell icon so you won't miss the next videos, live streams or Ismona moments. Thank you very much.